An inguinal hernia usually shows up as a bulge in the lower abdomen, also called the groin, or in the scrotum. Before birth, a male baby's testicles grow inside his abdomen and then travel to the scrotum. To get to the scrotum, the testicles must pass through two openings, called the internal and external inguinal rings, and a passage between them, called the inguinal canal, formed by abdominal wall muscles. As the testicles enter the scrotum, tissue lining the abdominal wall comes with them, forming a sac. Normally, the internal inguinal ring and tissue sac close after birth. Sometimes, for unknown reasons, the internal inguinal ring and tissue sac don't close. As a result, the open tissue sac may fill with fluid that normally stays inside the abdomen. The fluid-filled sac surrounding the testicle is called a hydroseal. A small piece of the baby's intestine may also slide into the sac, resulting in an inguinal hernia. Sometimes, a doctor may be able to gently reduce or push the intestine back into the abdomen. However, the intestine may become trapped or incarcerated inside the tissue sac. After about six hours, the intestine inside an incarcerated hernia may lose its blood supply and die. This is called a strangulated hernia and is an emergency that requires an immediate surgical procedure to correct. Hydroseals and inguinal hernias require an operation to tie off and remove the tissue sac to prevent future herniation. Before an inguinal hernia repair procedure, the baby will be given general anesthesia, which will put the baby to sleep for the entire operation. The baby may also be given regional or local anesthesia to reduce pain. A breathing tube will be inserted through the mouth and down the throat to help the baby breathe during the operation. The surgeon will make a small incision near the hernia. Next, the surgeon will carefully separate the tissue sac away from the cord structures attached to the testicle. The surgeon will then open the sac to look for any herniated contents inside. Usually, the sac is empty. However, if herniated contents are present, they will be moved back into the abdomen. In children younger than two years of age, the surgeon will insert an instrument called a laparoscope through the open tissue sac. The laparoscope contains a camera that will allow the surgeon to look at the tissue sac on the other side to make sure it isn't open. If it's open, the surgeon will need to make a similar repair on that side. After checking the other side for a hernia, the surgeon will tie off the empty tissue sac with a suture. The remainder of the sac will be removed. Finally, the surgeon will close the incision with dissolvable sutures, skin glue, or closure tape dressing. The baby may receive an injection of anesthesia in the skin near the incision to help control pain that happens after the procedure. After the procedure, the breathing tube will be removed, and the baby will be taken to the recovery area for monitoring. Pain may be controlled with over-the-counter liquid pain relievers, such as acetaminophen or ibuprofen. Most patients are released from the hospital on the same day as the procedure. High-risk infants, such as those that are premature or those that have breathing problems due to the anesthesia, require overnight monitoring in the hospital.